मिनट बंसी बजाएंगे कहा भेज रहा है
for the pleasure of Srila Gurudev and all the assembled devotees and guests, we will now present a drama of the second history of the appearance of Lord Jagannath. Jagannath means Lord of the Universe. Jagannath is the Supreme Lord Krishna in the form of a beautiful deity, majestically residing in Jagannath Puri, India, with his brother Baladev and sister Subhadra. He is famous all over the universe and worshipped very lovingly by his devotees. This drama illuminates one of the reasons for Jagannath's appearance. Why Krishna desired to appear in these very unique forms that, it, that appear to be incomplete with no hands and feet. Our play opens in Dwarka, where Narada Muni enters the assembly of Krishna's queens. Dear Queens, I have come to Dwarka to glorify you all as the most best servants of Lord Krishna and the most dear to him. Therefore, all respects to you. Dear Narad, you are glorifying us, but what you say is not true. Since we all married Krishna, we have become aware that we are unable to make him happy. Oh, um, I must away. Wait, wait! Oh, Mother Rohini! It is so wonderful to see you. Please, take a seat. We need to ask you many questions regarding Krishna in Raja. Yes, Mother Rohini, we know that you were living in Vraj when Krishna and Baladev were just small babies and you were there for 11 years. Therefore, you must know the history of all the gopis. I know that you know all about the love of the gopis and all of the Vrajavasis. You know of the importance of Vraj. We want to know the nature of the Vrajavasis lovies. What is their nature and why Krishna always remember them? Why cannot forget even for a moment? We have been serving Krishna for more than 50 years, but he's not controlled by our loving service. Instead, he's always remembering the service of the Rajavasis. When he is in Dwarka, he doesn't even think he is really there with Rukmini and Satyabhama. Sometimes in his sleep he calls out, Radhe, Radhe, Radhe. They don't even have any wealth like us. They don't have opulent ornaments like us, not beautiful as us. They decorate themselves only with the flowers of Raja. Why still Krishna always remember them? Do they know some magic? They must know an enchanting mantra. And that's why Krishna always remembers them and weeps for them. Yet we, who our expertise is unparalleled and unequaled. Oh, Mother Rohini, we want to know everything about Raj from you. When Krishna was a baby, a demoness called Putana came to Vrindavan. This talking about Krishna is very dangerous. And why talk about the gopis and the gopas? Hmm? Go and get my shawl, will you? Run along. Now, don't you all remember that Krishna and Balaram are the sons of Devaki, but somehow or other they were sent to Gokula 
to live under the care of foster parents. And those foster parents, oh, that Nanda and Jasoda, well, they could not even feed those poor boys properly. That's why Krishna had to steal from others' homes. The poor boy was starving. Can Marvati stop? Stop. This talk is not necessary. Not only that, when Jasoda received complaints about Krishna's stealing, what did she do? She tied him up hand and foot to a grinding mortar and on another occasion she bound him very tightly with rope and she threatened to thrash him with a big stick. Oh, that cruel, cruel and merciless woman. Absolutely. And what is wrong with her? Oh, she's such a drama queen. Come back. Stay here. Now, as I was saying, if you think that husband of hers, that wicked, wicked man, Nanda Baba, is any better, well, you better think again. He used to send Krishna and Balaram cow herding all over Braj, and God knows how many countless forests there are, full of sharp stones and thorns. And do you ever think that that cruel man offered them any sandals? Never. Did he offer them an umbrella from the hot blazing sun? Absolutely not. And all he gave them to eat was a little bit of bread and a tad of butter. Even though there were so many milk products stashed all over Braj, Oh, those cruel, cruel people. So now, I propose we do a tally. Now, one of you, run along, run along, call for Gargacharya. He is a very expert astrologer and accountant, and he shall make the statement. Go along. Now, on one... Stop, that's enough. Uh, run, run along, run along. Now, on one side of the statement, we shall put all the times that Krishna and Balaram had to go cow herding and on the other side we shall put all the times that they had to steal from others homes oh yes and we will tally it up and if something is owed for their cow herding well my husband and I being very broad-minded and very magnanimous then we shall pay double oh yes we shall pay double for the debt but if something is owed to us, then we shall very compassionately say we shall not accept a farthing. No, 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 not an iota of a farthing. But as for the, that Rohini, oh, we will not pay for her. We shall never ever pay for her because she is of the camp of Nanda and Jasoda. I know who you are. You do? Yes, you are the wife of Ugrasena, but Kamsa is not his son. When you were a young girl, one evening you were playing on the bank of the Yamuna, and a demon named Jumila approached you in a very lusty mood. And that is how Kamsa was conceived. You are not a chaste lady, and that is why you will never be able to understand the glories of the Vrajvasi's love and devotion. <laughs> Don't worry, she's gone now. Thank goodness. When Krishna and Balaram used to go cow herding, Mother Yashoda would give them the most beautiful umbrellas and shoes, but they would never accept them. They would say that the cows are worshipable. And how could they wear shoes unless the cows also wore shoes? Now they each, they herded a hundred thousand cows. So that would have been 400,000 shoes. Listen, my dear queens. The love of the Brajbasis is unconditioned. Yes, you are Krishna's wives, but you are not his beloveds. Because your love is divided into many fractions such as your sons and your daughters. Whereas the love of the gopis is ad kanda, total, full and completely undivided. Whatever they're doing, they're always chanting, Govinda, Damo, 
Dharamada Veti. Whether they're, ch whether they're churning butter, threshing the corn, sweeping the floor, everything they're doing, they're always chanting. Govinda Dharma 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 Govinda Dharma 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 They even teach their parrots to chant. Govinda Dharma Dharma For Srimati Radhika, there is no comparison. Once, when Srimati Radhika, Subhadra, Subhadra, please guard the door and make sure no male enters. Once. Srimati Radhika was sitting with Krishna and a bumblebee came by humming, thinking that her feet were a very fragrant, sweet and tasteful lotus flower. It wanted to land on her lotus feet and she became frightened. She tried to chase the bee away, but it kept coming back. Meanwhile, Madhu Mangala came and drove it away with his stick. Sudan has gone. I have driven him away. And he will not come back. <laughs> when Shimati Radhika heard this, she forgot that she was sitting with Krishna and began to weep. Taking Madhusudan to mean Krishna, she cried out. Oh Madhusudan, where have you gone? You must come back, otherwise I will die. Speaking in this way, she became unconscious in her mood of separation. No one can attain her elevated moods and love. As Rohini Maya related many pastimes, Krishna could no longer remain where he was. at the outside door with Baladev. I've been instructed by Mother Rohini to allow no males to enter, so please remain here until she has finished her discussion. As the three of them stood at the door, they heard what was being spoken, at which their hearts began to melt. As Mother Rohini continued to relate the glories of love and affection of Brindavan, all three of them wept and wept. And as they wept, their hands melted, their feet melted, and their mouths melted, and only the forms of the Jagannath deities remained. Oh my God! What is your reason? I'm so sorry, dear Lord. As, as I'm responsible for all of this. I said something to Rukmini and Satyabhama, who then called Mother Rohini, which then started speaking about these three topics. Oh, Narad. You are the cause of all of this. However, you should know 
that I am very pleased with you. You have reminded me of my brudge, my brudge vasis, my, my gopis, my gopas, and especially my most beloved Sri Radha. For this, I would like to give you a boon, so please ask of me whatever you wish. Oh dear Lord, I beg this boon is that you will stay in these three forms somewhere in the world to purify the whole world. Yes, it shall be. I shall manifest three deity forms. I myself as Jagannath, my sister Subhadra, and also my brother Baladev. We shall remain situated on the mountain Niladri, near the ocean in Jagannath Puri. We shall reside there for all of time to come. And there all may have our darshan. But why will the Sudarshan Chakra be there? My Sudarshan is very powerful. He purifies one and bestows transcendental vision. If someone sees my deity form with material vision, they will be deceived and will simply see it to be made as mere wood. They will not be able to appreciate my transcendental Satchirananduru, my eternal, fully conscious and blissful form. However, if Sudarshan is very merciful to someone, that person will be able to perceive my actual form as Rajendra Nandan Sham Sundar. They will be able to see my eternal Vrindhavan Dham. And, best of all, they will receive the most auspicious merciful darshan of my beloved Sri Radha. Narayan Narayan Jai Jagannath Jai Shri Krishna Srimati Radhika. <laughs> oh, Madanak Bhav. Sneeman Prane Rag Anurag Bhav Mahabhav. Rude Adi Rude. And after that, Mohan and then Madan. It is not anywhere else. Even in Lalita, Vishakha, Chandravali or anyone, what to tell Krishna? So Krishna wanted to test all these high class of modes. So he came in the form of Sachinandan Gaurhari, taking the intrinsic mood and beauty. And then he tested all these things. And then he thought that now I am my life is successful. So without Chaitanya Mahaprabhu we cannot know what is love and affection. He tested himself and also he gave this Raga Nuga Marga. What is Raga Nuga Marg? In what way Nanda and Jasoda, especially his gopis, Sakha, Sarva Krishna, 
that is called ragatmika in their atma soul it is natural that mood to serve krishna with rag hmm? that what rag not bhav sneh man pranay rag anurag day and <coughs> krishna um, chaitanya mahaprabhu gives to others what not ragatmika raga nuga following of practicing for having that siddha bhav raga nuga is sadhan marg in this world in this world and when you will it will be matured and siddha then they will for go there in golok vrindavan and with rag they will serve so raganuga and ragatmika are so much different so much different one is sadhan and one is siddha so also you should know there is a anuga more that is rupa anuga na all rupanuga araganuga all top to bottom but all raganugas are not rupanuga only those who will follow hmm? sri rupa goswami internal mood and outward as rupa goswami outwardly and inwardly like rupa manjari. manjari they are only rupanuga without rupanuga radha dasyam cannot be achieved so chaitanya mahaprabhu this gap this special mood to a special ji was in this world otherwise it was never heard and never seen this mood gaur praman so my blessings to radhika and for krishna this reason that if i will be with radhika he cannot be happy always in lamenting mood separation mood but when i will go far away for her then she will realize so per, so much separation that she will feel that krishna is here he will embrace tamal trees thinking krishna sometimes we speaking with him so i should go from here for ever living bindavan to mathura and from mathura to dwarka he never returned why because radhika suffering mood will come and we cannot uh, i cannot make her happy so this is madanakya bhav this is done only in meeting not in separation and in this separation meeting and separation both stages come in radhika so chaitanya uh, krishna wanted to test this thing and without taking the mood of radhika how can he test so in the last he took the beauty and also the intrinsic mood and he went to jagannath puri and from there he went to south india south, south india Udhapuri. and met ramananda ramananda prabhu is himself bisakha so bisakha knows this mood and then here he learnt everything the mood of radhika from bisakha so bisakha is his shiksha guru 
and then he returned back with Ramananda in the cave of Jagannath Puri and here he tested all these things always sometimes crossing seven doors of Gambhira he used to go to ocean and jump thinking what? Oh, Krishna is playing foot and he is calling. He is playing with all the gopis in Jamuna. Jamuna. So he used to give jump. jump. And for 24 hours in the sinking in the ocean. Uh, ocean. And he became like turquoise. Oh. And sometimes very long, very wonderful. Even it is not seen, it is not written in Bhagavat even that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu should. Sometimes he used to cross seven doors and he used to go to uh, Jagannath Balla Buddha. Bhatika. Garden of Jagannath Dev. Jagannath Puri. Oh, they used to think that how he went there, all the doors are closed even no. he went. So, so many very um, wonderful modes he took Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and tested. So, without Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, anyone cannot know all these modes and cannot test and cannot be Raganuga. So, for rag giving Raganuga Marg, oh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu went everywhere and by seeing from far away Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Oh, Krishna used to come. Even tigers and bears and all others used to tell, Oh, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, like this. Gaur Pramanandi. So my blessing to all. Uh, and also Padma. Very good road. <laughs> and Mother Rukmini. Oh. Rohini, Rohini. Rohini, Rohini. Rohini. Krishna also. So my blessing to you all queens, all Krishna, Radhika and Padma. Oh, Naradrishi. <laughs> Very good. I think I bless, I am giving my blessing that you should realize these facts. Not now, but even in future. You should know and be a pure bhakti. Go to Jai Guru Dev Ki. On one fragrant full moon night, Krishna started playing on his flute. So enchanting was its note that all the gopis ran towards him. Sensing the pride that has overcome all the gopis, Krishna deserted them and then, suffering the pangs of separation, the gopis started weeping and enacting his leelas. Seeing their deep de devotion, Krishna reappeared and danced with the gopis, delighting them. Now, we are about to sing eight verses, Rasakri Dashtakam, which has been written by Bilva Mangala Swamiji and Sri Krishna Karnamritam. <laughs> Oh, 
Thank <laughs> you. 